cause he know a bitch fine. Bitches always in my business, JC, what you really do? I be at home playing fish by a swimming pool. I'm a real big dog, bitch, you a scrappy dude. Doing all that wifey shit, knowing he don't fuck with you. Post the girl pussy in your nigga dream. From Minnesota to Atlanta, so it's probably gonna be like three videos. I don't know. Um, we gonna see, but I'm excited. I'm so excited and I'm moving. I'm so excited. I'm so happy this has been a long time coming. But yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all in a second. I'm gonna go grab my friend from the airport who's driving my U-Haul for me to Atlanta. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, y'all. So I made it to the airport. Um. Oh shit, my car is my car. In the y'all, let me tell y'all. This moving experience has been, it's not, I'm not going to say it's been hell because it really has not. Um, it's just been an experience for me personally. I've never moved out the state before. Like, this is my first time leaving my hometown and moving across, halfway across the fucking world, if you ask me. Um, and it's just been an experience because I'm doing it all by myself, which is cool. Like, I'm a grown-ass woman i'm supposed to do it but it just been hella like stressful just trying to figure shit out pay people to get things done get people like it's just been an experience but i definitely want to say if you feel like you want to take that leap of faith and leave your hometown if you have a plan and you are well established or like figuring it out like go do it you only live once especially if you don't have no kids i don't got no kids or nothing so this that's that's the easy part i don't have to drag my child or nothing like that with me it's just me myself and i so but it's definitely been a hell of an experience um yeah but i'm happy about my decision i'm really excited i'm really excited um i'm ready to go home because yeah like i said i didn't been back and forth like three times and i'm ready to go home um, I just got an update that I just got an update that my couch will be there be at my house on Monday so I'm really happy my house is damn near fully furnished now my bed is there my bedroom set has been put together and everything so I'm really just waiting on my couch I ordered um, y'all ordered some bar stools they're so cute y'all gonna see them in this vlog too or my next vlog one of the three but I ordered some bar stools. I only ordered two because my kitchen island looks smaller to me when I um virtually toured my apartment. It looks smaller. So I ordered two bar stools. And then when the bar stools got there, it was like, it looks stupid because I need three now, you know? So I need to order another one. But when I went online to order another one, y'all, it said it sold out till 2023. So, I'm kind of just indecisive. I think I should order. I hope I'm not in their way. I don't think I am. They walked around, so they're good. Um, I think I should. So, I ordered gray. I think I should go back online and order cream. But they don't allow you to order one. They come in They come in twos. So, I would have to order four and just have one lingering around my house, I guess. Which is cool. I'm not tripping. I can use it as like a makeup chair or something. But, yeah, I'm going to figure that part out. I don't know. But they're cute as fuck. Nobody has them. But, yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to show y'all. When we get back to Atlanta. And I get off this damn airport. Y'all like my little JaVinci hat? This is a JaVinci beanie. I got it in Nordstrom Rack like a couple months ago. And I've been dying to wear it. It was originally three something. I got it for 147 Nordstrom Rack be having them sales. Yep. Got it for 147 because I'm, I'm not paying $300 for no fucking beanie. I don't give a fuck who put... I don't care if it's Fendi, Louis Prada. I've never paid $300 for a beanie and I'm not about to start now. I wish he bring his black ass on. I really do. I'm ready to go. We got shit to do. I need to call my mom. I'm about to call my mom. Y'all gonna learn one thing about me. I'm gonna call my mom. But she's at work, so her phone probably gonna go to work. Your call has been forwarded to an. She really pisses me off sometimes. Some fucking times, my mom really pisses me off. I gotta call pops because I need his garage key. All right, bye. Alright, so, um, y'all, let me tell y'all what the fuck happened to me real quick before I let y'all go. Um, on my way home from Atlanta, I lost my car fob. 
I lost this. I had to go to the dealership. Um, I have two of them. I I had to go to the dealership and get a new battery because this is my mom's spare key to my car. The battery in this has been dead for like weeks and months. And what door am I at? Hello. I, I'm at door three in the front. Yep. Okay. Um, I had to get this. I had to get a new um key battery put in it. It was really nothing. It was like sixty dollars. Um at the dealership but then my dad put me onto this place called battery plus that i knew about but battery plus gave me two batteries for this um for 13 dollars, and they're supposed to last the year so yeah i should have brought a whole fucking pack um i lost the key that i the spare key i had to my mom's house and to her garage with all my shit in there so i don't have no key to her house or the garage so I'm, i look dumb as fuck i'm about to go pick up my u-haul and then i'm gonna go meet my dad and get the garage key so i'm gonna see y'all in a minute Wear me out, all you miss you, air me out Trippin' about your whereabouts I can't keep no conflict with you, boy, can we just rub it out? I don't want no steady with you, you know you my plug And I can't shake the tab enough Okay, y'all, made it to get the U-Haul They got the dolly on here or whatever Gonna get everything loaded up And I'ma see y'all in a second Saying bye to the snow Got this from a boutique, got this from H&M, something comfy in my Chanel runners. That's the vibes. Period. Oh, I'm in the baby. shit together but this is my living room area that's the dining room area but i got a whole little look for it i have a big 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 ass balcony i love that i've never had a balcony that big and yeah but that bitch raw this is my kitchen it's nothing in here so y'all it's like oh <laughs> this is my kitchen so cute i love it i love this island right here 
I love this. This is this is bad bitch material right here. I love this. I love this. Um, the big fridge. I've never had a fridge this big. All mine usually be like the regular fridge. Never had the built-in ice maker and all that. I'm trying to make some like like, like no, nah, it ain't like I don't come from shit, y'all. Don't take it like that. But um, I'm saying that because like I had a regular fridge you know what i'm saying like i've lived in luxury apartments my whole life for real i'm not even gonna lie to y'all so this ain't nothing new i'm just in a different state so this is the stove okay this is the last thing i'm gonna say y'all this is the last thing i'm gonna say i've never had a gas top stove I always had the um flat top so i love this it's big as fuck everything here is brand new um i'm the first person to live in my unit this is the microwave I don't know why it looked like that um, on that thing. She did tell me that this would cause a spark. I don't know if that caused that, if they would run the test or you know what. That's some shit they gave when I moved in. I flipped back around so I don't know the name of my building. Um, this light, hold on. This light not doing these cabinets no justice and all like that. But these cabinets is a dark gray, they fire. Those lights that are under here are built in. They're so cute. Um, this is a lot of cabinet space, y'all. So much cabinet space. I love it. Um, yeah, so this is all the kitchen area. Okay, I'm going to show y'all my bathroom. This is the his and her sink, even though it's just her, it's just me. My mirror is huge. This is a statement in itself. Toilet area. This leads to my bedroom. We'll get to that. Um, this is my laundry room area. I never had the stack washer. I usually have them side by side. Have I had stack before? Yep, I did. When I lived in Maple Grove, I had stack. Um, Wash and dryer. I feel like I could do a lot with this little nook and cranny. I'm gonna put some on the wall, stuff for my like, my mop, my broom, my dustpan, that kind of vibe. Cool. That's the laundry room. This is my shower and my tub. I feel like they did a good job cleaning it, but I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Target because I'm gonna clean this shit again. Um, this is a little pantry space for the bathroom. I love that. It's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of space. Let me show y'all my bedroom. Ta -da! <laughs> this is my bedroom. Um, I want, it, it got a nice view from my bedroom. I just let that down because my neighbor's porch and my porch are like kind of weird. I don't know. This is my closet. I love my closet. I don't know if I told y'all, but um, I had to turn light up for y'all. This is the closet, a lot of storage space. This is my stuff that I had. Um, yeah, the floors are so cute. It's so spacious in here. I love it. Love it so bad. Love it, love it, love it. Um, yeah, so this is my new Atlanta apartment. It's everything I prayed for, wished it could be, hoped it was going to be. It's everything I love. I just love it. I'm happy to be home. I'm happy to be here. I'm grateful to be here. So, I'm excited to be here. I'm happy to be here. This is a whole new mental state of mind for me. This is a whole new um, just journey for me, and I'm excited. Um, I pray to be here. And God answered my prayers and allowed me to be here. He put me in the right position to be able to be here comfortably. So I'm just anything, if everything, I'm I'm just grateful right now. I'm in awe. I'm still in shock. Like I don't live in Minnesota no more. Um Yeah, I I got my ass up. I came up with a plan and I executed it. I said I'm moving. By this day, I want this apartment. And that's what I did. So um yeah, this is my empty apartment, y'all. I'm finna get it together. Um, one thing about me, I definitely does my shit when it comes to getting my houses together. Um, but yeah, so 
I'm excited. I actually want to show y'all what I got from Target. It ain't really nothing for real, but I'm still gonna let y'all see. So hold on. Okay, so y'all, I got some um, booty wipes. If you ain't got these, bitch, you're disgusting. Booty wipes. Got those. I got me this candle. Um, it is aloe bergamot. I'm bergamot. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> it's aloe vera lime, and it smells really good. It smells amazing. I wish y'all could smell it. Oh my God, just, just smell it through the camera. Just smell it. I'm gonna light that. I'm gonna order me some food, y'all. I'm gonna order me some food. I'm hungry. I got me some Capri Suns. Gotta have a Capri Sun. So I got those. I had to get a shower curtain, y'all. I got me a little shower curtain, cause like I said, all my shit isn't here, but I'm gonna clean that bathroom again and I'm about to take me a shower. So I got a shower curtain. I got some cheap ass shower rods. I'm about to get in the um, Clorox spray. Clean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got some sheets for my air mattress. Because I'm sleeping on my air mattress tonight. Black household got the bags with the bags. I'm starting that right now. I'm building my bags back up. <laughs> uh, I got tissue. Don't ask me why I use the brand I use. I don't like that thick ass tissue that y'all be using that be clogging up y'all's toilets. I know people who use that tissue. I don't like it. I use this. This is what I prefer. Whatever you prefer is what you prefer and I will not judge, period. I got the Moroccan Rose. The Moroccan Rose smells so good to me. And I got deodorant. This one. So, oh my gosh, that just bring back so many memories. So, yeah. Y'all, I'm finna go through my packages. I'm finna see what's in them. I might put some shit together if I'm feeling spicy. Oh, that's my air mattress. This is my other suitcase. So, yeah, you can kind of like see my room. That's why I should tell y'all. And that's my view. Y'all know the motherfucking vibes. Y'all know the motherfucking vibes. I'm gonna go downstairs because I have four packages in a Luxor and I have two packages in my mailbox. So I'm gonna go down there and get those. And then I'm gonna come back up and take a shower. I'm gonna spray this tub out before I go down there so I can marinate in there. All right, y'all. Talk to y'all in a second. Hey, we downstairs with your bed. So I pushed everything to the corner because they have to bring it in my house. So I'm about to put the air mattress in the bathroom. I don't know. I was supposed to. I got to let it. I don't know. <laughs> hold on, y'all. Hold on. Okay. about the fact they just laid my shit down like that but okay i'm not gonna put it on the wall because i don't want to scrape my walls or nothing but yeah it's here my new bed i'm excited i literally waited for this to get back in stock to order it so when it's getting put together i'm gonna record it and when it's done y'all gonna see it i'm excited y'all we moved it's <laughs> Y'all, the door is kind of so cute. I've never had a canopy bed before. I want one so bad. It's coming out so cute. Thanks to Solo. I'm going to put his Instagram in my description. So y'all can book him. But yes, it's so pretty. I love it. My camera was too focused on the camera.
They feel so good, but not cheap at all. Very good quality. I love the gold finishes. I'm not gonna take these off yet. I really don't even know why I put these together, but I was so thirsty because it's so cute. And I love the finishes on them. Very chic. I love it. So I opened them, but yeah, I'm going to order another one. In the meantime, I'm just going to find these will be sitting at my corner looking rich because these are the new tribes. I love it. I don't know nobody that has these. They're so cute. I just love them, so yeah. I was going to get cream, but I love the gray. So yeah. I think it looks really, really good. I really, really like it. Cause he know a bitch fine. Bitches always in my business. JC, what you really do? I be at home playing fish by a swimming pool. I'm a real big dog, bitch. What scrappy dude doing all that wifey shit? Knowing he don't fuck with you. Post the girl pussy in your nigga dream.